Italy's massive volcano may be ready to erupt and destroy. Italy's Campi Flegre volcano has caused thousands of recent earthquakes and is pushing up the ground, alarming 1.3 million residents. On the evening of October 2, alarming earthquakes rocked towns atop Campi Flegre, a large, long dormant volcano west of Naples, sending the media and local authorities into a frenzy. Journalists speculated that lava might begin flowing from the volcano threatening the 1.3 million people living in high-risk areas near its epicenter. Volcanologists have called for existing evacuation plans, which assume an eruption can be predicted 72 hours in advance, to be updated to include the possibility of having to evacuate all those people once the eruption has begun. On October 31, Italy's civil protection minister, Nello Musumeci, said he would consider raising the alarm level if seismic activity continued, a move that would prompt evacuations of certain hospitals and prisons and prompt 500,000 nearby residents to voluntarily leave their homes. After a few quieter weeks, another series of earthquakes rocked the area on November 23, prompting media speculation again about the possibility of magma rising to the surface. The October 2nd quake, which measured 4.0 on the Richter scale, and hundreds of others since then capped off the most intense period of seismic activity Campi Flegre has seen in decades. In the two months leading up to October 2nd, more than 2,000 low-magnitude quakes were recorded in the area, including the strongest since 1983. Monitoring systems show that the ground has risen as much as 1.17 meters, 4.3 feet, in some places since 2005, and two-thirds of that since 2016. Tensions among residents remain high because scientists are unsure what is happening beneath the surface. The scientific community agrees that tremors and uplift are signs that the volcano is awakening. But they have struggled to reconcile two conflicting explanations for the rising ground that have been debated for decades, leaving residents and researchers uneasy. The answer to the geologic mystery could bring scientists closer to determining how likely the volcano is to erupt. It could also give geologists around the world warning signs to look for when other large volcanoes start rumbling especially supervolcanoes like Yellowstone in the northwestern U.S., Toba in Indonesia, and the Altiplano Puna volcanic complex in Argentina, Bolivia, and Chile. One model, call it the shallow magma model, assumes that the seismicity and bulging are caused by magma pushing its way through the surface. Leading to an explosive eruption, with a catastrophic magma flow likely in the near future. In the hot fluid model, by contrast, the hot steam and gas released by magma deeper underground are the culprits. In that case, ongoing seismic activity could stop abruptly or culminate in a phreatic eruption. The volcano would spew out hot fluid, gas, and rock fragments instead of lava. This would pose a lesser threat, though it would still be deadly because so many people live nearby. Everyone agrees that magma is involved, says Roberto Moretti, a professor of geochemistry and volcanology at the University of Campania Luigi Vanvitelli in Italy, and a proponent of the hot fluid model since 2013. But scientists disagree about the magma's exact role and how close it is to the surface. That's a big question, Moretti says. Where is the magma, the volcano, known as the Flegrain Fields in English? consists of two dozen craters and other structures spread across an area 14 kilometers, 8.8 .8 miles, wide. A third of it lies beneath the Tyrrhenian Sea, between mainland Italy and the country's island of Sardinia, 
Oh, the volcano flagrant, has been AKA active for at least 80,000 years. One of the most it's caldera, dangerous volcano. a depression formed when an empty magma chamber causes the volcano's roof to collapse. It was formed after two catastrophic eruptions 39,000 and 15,000 years ago. Your research shows that the this older eruption is caused a volcanic winter in an area 100 kilometers, 62 miles wide sending ash as far away as Russia Just and abruptly cooling the climate around the world. About a million people live right in the caldera of this huge world. Okay, you know. But even that is not the whole risk. Its extent is much larger. 